now one of the best players in the Big Ten and also all of college basketball. The stars are out this afternoon here in Columbus. As we look at the starting lineups, and speaking of stars, Brad Davison averaging 18 points a game over his last three, and Kyle Young, who will come off the bench for Ohio State, but still that front court. Wisconsin and Ohio State meeting number 169. And the opening tap is controlled by Wisconsin, and we are underway here in Columbus. Tyler Wall. And now Davison. Johnny Davis, third in the Big Ten in scoring at almost 21 per game. He'll pull off. That's a deep two. It falls out, and Zed Key rips down the rebound. That's going to be a matchup to watch. Malachi Branham is a freshman, and that's a lot of responsibility that Chris Holman's given him guarding one of the elite offensive players in this league. So far through one possession, so good contesting that jumper. There's Liddell's first try, and it goes down a deep three for E.J. Liddell. It's such a matchup nightmare for other teams. If you want to guard him with a big, it's going to be pick and pop all afternoon. Liddell hasn't shot it great the last three games, but you know he's more than capable. Liddell at a 20-point game in Madison last year as Davison throws it away. And over and back violation, it is Ohio, Ohio State basketball. Here's the ball screen, and Justin Arms wisely throwing it back. That's going to be a tough guard for Steven Crowell. He's got to get back into that play, close out. You're also worried about Liddell as a driver. There's some really interesting dynamics on, on both ends between Johnny Davis and E.J. Liddell. How do these coaches on both sides guard these star players? Yeah, outside of Crowell, who else do you think will be matched up against Liddell right now? It's Wall. I, I would think it, it would be more Tyler Wall. Now, if that's going to be the matchup, then you're going to see E.J. Liddell drive the ball, go inside more. Tyler Wall, a very good defender, and a nice play right there by Wisconsin defending that pass. And Crowell denied the entry pass, turnover Ohio State. Wall with a slip. Davis pulls up just inside the elbow and down it goes. A fantastic cut. Johnny Davis just making himself available. Cut to the basketball and a miscommunication. That's where Ohio State is certainly a work in progress. They're a very good offensive team, but defensively they're still trying to find their way a little bit. Meanwhile, Wisconsin has really struggled offensively, particularly shooting the basketball as the Buckeyes throw it away. Turnover Ohio State, Wisconsin ball. Got to be so aware of Johnny Davis. And there's the screen. You encounter it. It's pointing and switching today. <laughs> if you're Malachi Branham, that's not going to be the answer. If you're going to switch, bodies have to come together. This is this is going to be interesting to see how this freshman handles this. Now Davison trying to beat Arns in the paint. It was key to bother that shot. Knocked away. But here comes the Penn State transfer, Jamari Wheeler. Nice job by Justin Arns, just going straight up, walling up, and making somebody score over the top of you. Alone is Zed Key and Robbie. He's good in the blocks, right handed or left handed. Really good player. He can go either way. He was so good against Duke. He's been so solid all year. And you're right, right hand, left hand doesn't matter. Crowell trying to answer, left it short, one and done for the Badgers. Wheeler, no look feed. Liddell underneath off the glass and in. That was tremendous by Jamari Wheeler. Looking up the floor, seeing that E.J. Liddell had beat Tyler Wall. How about the catch and then the finish as well? Well, he can hit that shot. If you're a big and you play for Wisconsin, you better shoot the three. Here's Davis, a deep two, and he is smooth. Johnny Davis with four points. He is phenomenal at getting to his pull-up. With as athletic as he is and the handle that he's got, he can get that whenever he wants it. Ball screen comes, Ohio State playing some drop coverage. They're going to guard him like that. That's going to be there all afternoon. So the numbers there offensively for Davis. He has scored at least 15 in eight straight games. There's Branham around the screen. There's Arms. A reset for three. And the rebound. Hepburn trying to save it and runs into our broadcast awesome. table. Stays in play and now Davis has it. What a play by Brad Davis. And just getting on the floor and taking that basketball. And, and you know what? Rewards... Always seem to come when you get on the floor. That was a fantastic possession. Brad Davison sacrificing the body on one end, transition coming, and he's knocking it down from the top of the key. A great hustle there from Hepburn, kept the play alive. And Davison knocking down the three. It's a tie game, 7 7. Now Wheeler, Siron Hepburn, 
Underneath, beats Wall, missed the easy shot inside, and Crowell the rebound. And now Chucky Hepburn. Here's Crowell. He will take that three up top. And back comes Wheeler. Red guard, he's not shy about his team shooting lows. First Liddell up top, that doesn't go. He said, we're going to be a streaky team in terms of shooting the basketball. Davison will try again, and he knocks down another. And the Badgers take the lead. I think it's fascinating to see that the, the pace and tempo that Wisconsin is playing at this year. Now, it's still not fast. They're in the 260s in offensive possession length on Ken Palm, but this is the fastest they've ever played since Ken Palm started tracking that stat back in 09. They are playing with some pace here this year. And Branham is fouled, and with that, we'll take our first time out community. Devastated by tornadoes last night, early this morning. Uh, devastation, fatalities in that community. And Chris, before the game, was asked, has he been in touch with family and friends? And he said, no, it's, it's been too much of a challenge to reach out. So keep number 33 in the hearts today. And for all fans of yours, whether you're cheering for the Badgers or Buckeyes today. Must be a foul on Wisconsin. will stick with Ohio State. It's on Ben Carlson. Red guard. He's still a little thin today, minus a couple of players. Lauren Brown. Bowman the second did not travel. Carter Gilmore did not travel. As a flu bug has been running through the Wisconsin team. That's been the storyline throughout the Big Ten. That's been probably a big, for a while. That's here. been a Big Ten storyline, really. It's like every team you see, they've got multiple guys who are dealing with the flu and Something that you have to get through, and so far, this Ohio State team, a little bit cold. They've been very good shooting the ball all year, but there's been some ugly shots. That. <laughs> Nothing ugly about that. <laughs> Absolutely not. And that's what makes him so tough. He can beat you in so many different ways, whether it's getting on the offensive glass, getting to his fadeaway jumper, driving the basketball, shooting it from three. He is a very complete player. Liddell has seven of Ohio State's nine. And a foul on the floor. This will be on Young. He's got a matchup right here. And he's going right at Ben Carlson. He is so effective at getting to that fadeaway jumper. He can go either way, go over the left shoulder, over the right shoulder. And E.J. Liddell has become a guy that's just must-see TV. Fourth of the Big Ten in scoring. Just shy of 20 per game. He has seven so far. One point game, Wisconsin ball. As Davis, still spin baseline, shoots over Michi Johnson Jr. fell out. And back comes Wheeler and the Buckeyes. And now Davis with the steal. This should be fun. Davis all the way with the hammer. He is just always searching to shoot through those passing lanes you, you get a little bit lackadaisical with the pass and, and johnny davis is going to make you pay that, that was big time so davis has six two steals and wisconsin by three Here's that liddell wall matchup that burn helps out and a whistle i think they're going to call gonna the cylinder. cylinder violation yep a cylinder violation will be called on Wisconsin. This will be uh, Chucky Hepburn. That rule has made it almost impossible to press, and also it's made it very difficult to post trap. You have to be absolutely vertical in your defensive stance. It's tough because I, I get it. You want to get the ball out of EJ Liddell's hands, but it's going to get called a lot today if there's going to be post traps. Here's Young. Takes ball baseline, lost it, and it's going to be Wisconsin ball. Turnover Ohio State. Chris Holdman in his fifth year. Losing record all time against Wisconsin. Two and three against the Badgers. The only other Big Ten team he has a losing record against is Michigan State. Two and five all time against Tom Izzo. Guys that turned it over four times today. And Hepburn nearly turned it over for the second time. There's Davis. Gets around Brunk. Attacks and Goodness. scores. 
That's just Johnny Davis reading the defense. Joey Brunx a little bit up to take away that pull-up jumper. All right, now I'm going to the rim. And how about the finish hanging, going over the top of the big Joey Brunk? And nearly picked up his third steal. Well, Liddell and Davis have not disappointed so far today. No surprise. Both those guys have played like All-Americans throughout the early part of this season. And Wheeler slipped. Turnover number five. And Jordan Davis, number two on the floor, joining his twin brother. And this is Wall against Brunt. Spinned and took one extra step and traveled. Well, I, I thought Tyler Wall kept his feet down there. I, I really thought that was a good post move. Here's Johnny Davis getting to the rack and just the hang time. That's a physical drive. Joey Brunk feeling Johnny Davis getting to the rim. And boy, he is just so explosive. He can get wherever he wants on the floor, and he's done just that tonight. Well, the Buckeyes have turned it over on three straight possessions. Five turnovers so far, now make it six. Here's Wall. Got a three from Branham and one for Tyler Wall. As Liddell sits for the time being. And here's Wall trying to complete the three-point play and does. And that was a big part to it, Wisconsin's incredible comeback against Indiana. Robbie, clutch free throws there down the stretch. Big time free throws and an elite defensive effort. They shut the water off on Indiana in the second half and finally started making some baskets. This is a very good defensive team for Wisconsin. They're in, the, they're in their right positions. Greg Gard has, has them well coached. They have been terrific on this end. Liddell and Key will check back in. Next whistle for Ohio State. Late shot clock here for Johnson. Down to two. Got it off in time, and it goes. That possession looked like it was going nowhere, but Michi Johnson just taking his man off the bounce and making something happen out of nothing. It's a 50-point game in high school with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade watching. And that's kicked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Badgers. And 10.59 to go until halftime as Liddell and Zed Key return. And Brunk and Young come out for Ohio State. Here's Davison. And Davison knocks down another field goal. And the Badgers up the lead to eight. He is so comfortable with that step back jumper. And I think when you look at Brad Davison this year, he's made real strides shooting from two. His percentages tell us. Wall went for the seal, then was late getting back defensively, and Liddell made him pay. Nine for Liddell. Here's Wall. He'll try to attack Liddell. And that fell off the rim. Johnson averaging seven points per game. He'll pull up near the foul line. He knocked it out. Wisconsin ball. Crowd disagrees. Badgers ball. 10-07 to go as Hepburn is back in. And Jacoby Neath also checks in for the Badgers as the Davis Twins come out. Well, that looked like that looked like that was right off of Jordan Davis. Now with you looking at the replay, it looked like not Johnny, but Jordan two in red was last to touch it. That's what Chris Holtman felt, anyway. Neath the entry pass to Crowell. Crowell backing his way down, stripped away. Good defense there from Liddell. AJ Liddell just came down and took that ball from Stephen Crowell. Well, he has never taken a three-pointer yet in his Buckeye career. Had a chance there, did not fire. And now Branham, last moment, tried to pass, not there. He jumped the pass. More often than not, it's going to end up in a turnover. Malachi Branham has had some really good moments this year, but certainly still a work in progress. Cedric Russell, number two on the floor for Ohio State. From Louisiana. 
One-on-one against Wall. Liddell in the paint. Bean scores in one. It just hurts you in so many different ways. You want to guard him with your big, you go outside. You want Tyler Wall down here, it's going right to the block. And you can see the contact on the right arm. That's a tough physical post-up. And the fadeaway jumper, the signature move of E.J. Liddell's post repertoire. That's, boy, he is a just a tough guard. First foul on Wall, fourth team foul on Wisconsin as Johnny Davis is back in. And Jacoby Neath playing in his fourth game and a brief run comes out. Number so far for Liddell. And as he has 12 of the Buckeyes, 16. And a three-point game under nine to play first half. Here's Hepburn got around Wheeler. Now Carlson. Top shot off the mark. Liddell defending. Liddell with the rebound. Ben Carlson would have stayed in that corner. He would have had a wide open shot, but he cut right to his defender. There's Key. Kicks it back out. Wheeler for the tie. His 10th made three all year. Now the Buckeyes answer back with an 8-0 run. And it's a 19-19 game. Could Davis change that? No. And Key rips down that rebound. Liddell. That's Brandon. Excuse me. That rattled out of the corner. And Carlson the rebound. And Crowell throws it away. Turnover, Wisconsin, Ohio State ball when we come back. Ohio State right back at you, an 8-0 run. And boy, you're, you're going to guard Jamari Wheeler like that. So a 19-19 game. Brown the third checks in for the first time for Ohio State. Now Russell, did he push Davison off? He did. Offensive foul. They're going to get him with that off arm. Chris Holtman wants a flop, but the way that Cedric Russell extended that right arm, it's going to get called every time. Bill Eck had a really good look at it. There's that extension. That's an easy call. The 13 foul on Ohio State, and now Wheeler picks the pocket of Hepburn. Jamari Wheeler for the lead. They're casual around Jamari Wheeler. He is going to take your ball, and we've seen that for so many years. First at Penn State, now here at Ohio State. I think wise for Chucky Hepburn to maybe let Tyler Wall bring it up the next time. Got to be really careful around Jamari Wheeler. And Wheeler's led the Big Ten in steals in back-to-back -back years. A 10-0 Buckeye run. With the left hand, both to miss and Young the rebound. Right now for Wisconsin, you just wonder who's going to be the third scorer. Davison's played well, Johnny Davis has played well, but behind that, not been much offense. He with the left hand does that well to miss. Brown the rebound and a foul on Wisconsin. Let's go back to Jamari Wheeler. His defense a moment ago, Robbie. He talked about just how good he's been for him. Taking point guard balls right there, a little bit casual. You turn your back on him. That's going to be a turnover for a touchdown. Jamari Wheeler making things happen. A point that Chris Holman said before the season, and that's what made Jamari Wheeler so attractive to add him in the portal. Perimeter defense was not a strength for the Buckeyes last year. I think it was. It's also been a learning curve as Jamari Wheeler throws it up to Zed Key, but a different type of defense here in Columbus. At Penn State, they gambled a ton. Here, it's it's more guard your man, contain the ball, but he can really do that. He can heat you up, and Chucky Hepburn's going to feel that this afternoon. This is Marcus Ilver on the floor, 35 for Wisconsin. This is fifth game. Tyler Wall came out with two fouls. Deep three from Davis and goes right in front of the Buckeye bench. 
Well, those count, Corey. That is a great defensive possession by Ohio State. It's just better offense. Brad Davidson's been in this league for a long time. That's a contested tough three from that right wing. If you're Chris Holman, you just tip your cap and, and you move on. Stops a 12 nothing run. Wheeler to key again. Catches, resets, try to dunk it down. And Bolt rips it away. Now Davison. Here's Johnny Davis. Back to Bolt. Coming off a nine-point game against Indiana. Keeping that left foot down, right hand, spun out. And Young the rebound and Bolt the foul. That's twice now that Chris Bode has gotten a really quality look in the paint just hasn't been able to convert Here's the Jamari Wheeler oof. It's a simple pick and roll the backside falls asleep Zed key Able to throw it down and if you're Cedric Russell boy, that's great defense It's just Brad Davison going and making a big-time shot So the foul was on vote you see the numbers on Davison the reigning co big ten player of the week Struggled with his shot against Indiana, but not so far today. Davison with 11 to lead Wisconsin. Liddell is a game high 12. Liddell against Ilver beats him easily. That's twice now we have seen EJ Liddell drive a defender, and that defender is just falling down. He is. Embracing the physicality of the game and getting to the rack. Ilver, he'll try for three. Way off. Oh, five now from three so far this season is Ilver. Now Wheeler, he'll try from deep. He's really helping off Jamari Wheeler. Whether it goes into the post or, or even on dribble drives, he can make it open. Uncontested three. I think you got to close out with a little bit of a sense of urgency to him. Gene Brown, the third with the foul. And EJ Liddell, co captain, averaging 20 points per game as Jordan Davis comes back in. He's having one heck of a half. It really is. It's just it's, it's shooting the basketball, it's driving the ball, it's getting into the post. That, that's, that's Tyler Wall the first time falling down. He just saw it with Ilvers. It, it's. It's been so impressive to watch him develop and you talk about a guy that took NBA feedback and used it the right way That's AJ Liddell now That drive there from Johnny Davis. He now has ten Both these guys Johnny Davis EJ Liddell Been great all year and they have been great today Now it's Carlson matched up with Liddell There's Russell spinning hanging and scoring Senator Russell he went off against Duke 12 points in the Duke game, but just six points in the other six games. Looked pretty good there. Spin move freed him up, got to his pull-up. Played five minutes against Towson. That three doesn't go for Carlson. And Michi Johnson Jr. with the rebound. Buckeyes with the ball, up by three. Johnson against Hepburn off the glass, no. And both the rebound, and now Wisconsin can push it. Between the legs, Davis leaves it for Hepburn. His three is way off, long rebound. And now the Buckeyes will slow things down here with 3.28 to go. What a play by Michi Johnson. Went down on this end, missing that layup. Got up, hustled back, and contested that Chucky Hepburn three. Ohio State shooting 52% from the field. Can Russell add to that? Yes. I like what Cedric Russell's doing here this afternoon. Being aggressive, playing pick and roll, getting to his pull up. And again, that, that big's going to be back. That mid range jumper's going to be there. Davis over Liddell. How about the two guys one-on-one -on -one and Davis shoots that three over Liddell and it's a two-point game Johnny Davis gets the switch and EJ Liddell trying to guard the smaller Johnny Davis the spit step back is there and Davis making you pay Davis now with 13 And Jordan Davis pokes it free and now Johnny Davis has a turnover Ohio State That's too strong and young the rebound Ohio State with nine turnovers. Wisconsin with five. Young will drive on vote, shoots over and scores. 
pretty well defended by Chris Vogt. You've got to close out to Cal Young now, who's now making threes. He's made, he's made his last six. But the way he can put it on the floor, pretty good defense. We, we've seen that a lot today, where there's been some defenders in the right place, getting good contests, hasn't matter. Cal well, Young scored 18 against Towson, tying a career high. He has four so far. Vogt underneath, dunks that one over and around Liddell, and a foul. Brad Davidson has been fantastic today. The numbers there, they, they tell the story. Those two guys have carried the load on offense. So here's Vogt trying to complete the three-point play. Six of seven at the line this season, but that one rattled out. And Johnson the rebound. And Johnson kicks it to the corner. Russell resets for three. Johnson just left his defender in the dust at a jab step he turns the pick and roll down and when that happens now your help has to converge he gets that shot that was all done by Michi Johnson on the ball screen Russell has a miss he has seven his vote looking for help he has it from Davison off the curl three doesn't go and Liddell the rebound Fourth rebound. Well, with 14 points. Johnson. He's on the baseline. And turnover Ohio State. State Farm halftime report coming up. David Guy is momentarily from Chicago. Well left it short. He's got some good looks right at the basket. He made those against Indiana and this afternoon at Columbus. It has not been the same story for Chris Vogt. And the Buckeyes call a timeout. It's 27.3. I asked Chris Holtman yesterday about suing in towns. He thinks a couple of weeks still for both. How deep will the rotation be in the thick of conference play? Can this be a 9-10 deep team? Most coaches like to pair that down. To eight or got it down low. He's fouled. And that will put Ohio State into the bonus. A one and one upcoming. Fouls on Davison. And the team seventh as Eugene Brown the third returns for the Buckeyes. Branham back in. Arns. And Russell come out. Both to cards for Wisconsin. Young also departs. This is a one and one for EJ Liddell, 72% foul shooter, missed it. Last chance here for the Badgers, Davison with seven. In the paint. It's Crowell, his three's on the way. And Liddell lets it fly, three quarters court, no good. And that'll do it. So the Badgers learned today for home games, his pregame routine, pregame meal, every home game, tomato soup and grilled cheese. All right, well, back to your childhood roots. Can't go wrong with that, every home game. Also a favorite of our producer, Benny Blunt. <laughs> Wheeler, now Liddell. Good help from Chucky Hepburn right there. Comes out to Wheeler for three, and Davis with the rebound. That was about to be an E.J. Liddell post up. Chucky Hepburn going to dig that thing out. Ended up, fortunately, going to Jamari Wheeler, but a stop for Wisconsin. Hepburn, pretty shot, spinning along the baseline and knocks it down. That's a tough shot over a very good defender in Jamari Wheeler. Chucky Hepburn going to the post up and getting to his fadeaway. First two points for Hepburn so far today. He's averaging seven per game. It is noticeable, to me at least, of how much faster Wisconsin is playing. I mean, they're they're not, you know, five slam a jamma Houston, but but they're certainly looking to get out and go. And Chucky Hepburn taking his time, posting up Jamari Wheeler and getting to that turnaround jumper. See Hepburn where he ranks amongst Big Ten freshmen and a rare true freshman starting point guard in Badger basketball history. Uh, 
Cone. Who, Devin Harris? And he played more of the two back in Bo Ryan's first year of 01. And Josh Gosser played more of the two. He started as a freshman, but not so much the point. Now Davison will attack. Wheeler and then from behind comes Liddell. It'll stay with Wisconsin. That's a part of Liddell's game. We touched on that at the top two. That has really improved defensively on the glass with block shots. Second to the Big Ten. DJ Liddell with the chase down block. Brad Davison thinks he's got a bucket. DJ Liddell says, You absolutely do not. And a key challenging that shot. And last touch by Wisconsin. Nice sequence there from Zed Key defensively. How about the defense in the paint for the Ohio State Buckeyes? Could have been an offensive foul on Brad Davison using that off arm. But Liddell just getting it done. And then the next possession, it was Zed Key. Both those guys defending that rim. Davis, he came from behind, and Branham never saw him. There's Davis, he'll set up wall, low pass, caught it, resets for three. And a rebound for Key. The one thing that Tyler Wall has just not been able to figure out this year is shoot the ball for three. And you miss one on this end, now all of a sudden Ohio State gets out and runs, and you let Justin Arns get any type of look at the rim. More often than not, that's going down. He's attempted 57 shots this season. 55 have been three-point attempts. A career 42% three-point shooter. And the wall wisely resets. Under 10 now for Hepburn. He'll pull up deep three up top. And then Crowell, can he save it? He can. And now Wall goes baseline, and he's fouled before the shot on the floor. And the foul was on Arns. Tyler Wall now 0 of 11 from 3 on the year. And this shot gets missed, and now all of a sudden off to the races. Brad Davison, you're in a tough spot. You're trying to get back. Nobody's stopping the basketball, but you have to have an awareness of where Justin Arns is at all times. And Davis, he tried to lean in, create contact, no whistle. It was all initiated by Johnny Davis. It was a good no call. Well, the nice key for now opens up the lane Liddell good defense from wall It'll stay with the Buckeyes, but really good defense there from the Minnesota native Tyler wall Look just like it did against Indiana where Tyler wall blocked Parker Stewart shot into the game He's been very effective at no pun intended walling up and just making guys score over the top As Wheeler goes around again it's Just not good enough by Stephen Crop. Ole defense, Jamari Wheeler going right around him, and Greg Gardner wants to talk that one over. So the Badgers take a timeout. Buckeyes led by five of the half. It's an eight-point lead early second. Badgers have won six straight. The Buckeyes have won their last three. The eight-point lead, the largest for the Buckeyes today. Wisconsin's missed on five straight shots. Scoreless over the last 225. Has Hepburn changed that? No. And Wheeler with the rebound. Wisconsin, it's just been all Brad Davison and Johnny Davis. Who is going to be that third scoring option for them? And those guys have combined for 24 of the 31 Wisconsin points. Liddell spins on the freshman, rises and misses off the glass. And Hepburn there one-on-one -on -one for a moment. Now cutting his ball. Missed the layup. Arns the rebound. Wisconsin just did not do a good job of recognizing they had disadvantaged basketball. Liddell late getting back, and that was a contested shot at the rim. Liddell along the baseline, no, wanted a foul. Good defense by Stephen Crown. Just contesting that fadeaway. Really young matches up against Crowell. Davison against Arms. Nothing there. And Crowell sets the screen, and Davison left it short. All of a sudden. Wisconsin has just gone ice cold. They are now 0 for their last eight from the field. Nine from the field this half. Substitutions for both teams at the next whistle. There's Liddell off the Wheeler feed. Long rebound comes back to the Buckeyes. Brandon baseline J. Now here comes Davison. Stop this Wisconsin drought attacks. Arns reverse no. 
and it's going to be saved for a moment, but then last touch by the Buckeyes. Wisconsin ball when we come play. Well, I, I get why they don't like it. They, they want to build their teams to December and then be the full go conference play in January. But in order to make the NCAA tournament, you have to play good people anyway, and, and Big Ten opponents are going to be good. So I I know we're all for it. The fans are all for it. The coaches, I, I guess they just have to deal with it. it it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. Badgers been trying to find some offense. Wisconsin has missed on his last nine, scoring drawn more than four minutes, and now Wheeler with the reach on Carlson. And the foul is on Jamari Wheeler. Chris Holtman changing it up. That was a 2-3 zone coming out of that timeout. Davison from the corner. Doesn't go, and Young went over Davis to pull down the rebound. So we saw Greg Gard. He said to us yesterday, they're going to be a streaky team shooting. And they're in a rut right now. And a foul as Key and Davison have to be separated. And some sportsmanship there from Brad Davison and Zed Key as we look at what happened inside. <laughs> All good there, right? All good at the end. Johnson. Someone makes a jumper. These two teams were 0 for their last 12 combined. Nietzsche Johnson, who, who'd been struggling shooting the ball coming in tonight or this afternoon, one of his last 11. Finally sees one go down. Wisconsin, the ball has to find number one, right? At some point. And here he is, Davis in the paint. Fade away, goes. That's a, a great call there, Corey. You get the ball to your best player. Brad Davison has had some good looks, hasn't been able to knock him down, but, but Johnny Davis is an elite player, and that's that pull-up jumper that he can get whenever he wants. 15 or more in nine straight games. That's 15 today. Young can't hit, got his own rebound. Johnson will try again for three. And Young and Carlson, and then Davison went up to help out Wisconsin ball. Mismatch inside there, Carlson against Arns. Instead, Davis pulls up baseline. Jay spun out on the rebound to Young. Lead pass up the floor. Key trying to throw it off a Badger, and he did. Threw that off the body of vote, and Ohio State maintains possession. What a great play from the sophomore. Jamari Wheeler putting Zed Key in a really tough situation. You're, you're right, that's a heck of a play. Uh, Essentially a no-look pass right off the foot of Chris Vogt Now that, that could go the other way too <laughs> That could not go off his foot and you could be starting the break, but it works out here and Ohio State retains possession Davison near steal Cedric Russell back on the floor for the Buckeyes. He closed the first half playing really good basketball and Young a step on Davis Johnson was four, lost it, got it back. That's a pass! And left it for Key with a shot clock about to expire. Just a helter-skelter possession, but credit Michi Johnson for having the presence of mind. You're right, Corey, that was 100% a pass, and he set the table for Zed Key. Vote against Key with the left hand, no but a foul. This ball was just, that should have been a steal. Chucky Hepburn just doesn't see the ball. Michi Johnson throws it up. Zed Key, nice catch, lays it right in. Probably not how Chris Holman drew it up, but they all count the same. That's two points for Ohio State, and Michi Johnson, a big part of why that happened. So here's going at the line, shooting two. Two of the Lions so far today. Wednesday night, Wisconsin is back on the floor, this time at home in Madison to take on Nichols State. The action begins Wednesday at 8 Eastern on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Next up for the Buckeyes will be against Kentucky in Las Vegas on Saturday. And his vote splits the two. A ten point game. Right, that was really 
physical. Johnny Davis getting away with one there. Five on four as Russell now is back defensively. Here's Davis. That's Johnny. And a friendly roll. Got the feed from his brother Jordan. He was so off balance there. We've talked about his pull up a lot today, but his feet were now underneath him. That's a tough shot, and just a big time shot from Johnny Davis. 17 of the Badgers, 36. Now the Dell against Wall. Johnson left side for three. Double team is coming to EJ Liddell, and he's doing a fantastic job of reading it. Credit Michi Johnson there as well. Coming over, making himself available, and being ready to shoot. Michi Johnson Jr. now with eight. Buckeyes have hit on six threes. They average about nine made threes a game. Wall against Liddell. Backs him down. Johnson poked it free. Michi Johnson is playing great here in the second half. Bees Liddell, touch pass key with a two-hand dunk. The defense led to numbers and key. Sure, Greg Gard and that huddle said, all right, guys, we got them right where we want them, down 13. Double, double did you come back again? Let's go. Not a program record coming back from a 22-point deficit against Indiana. Earlier in the week, they're going to come back. Someone outside of Johnny Davis has got to make a shot or a play. Davis has been everywhere, but outside of that, that's just an airmail pass. Buckeyes stuck with the 2 3 zone there as well on the, on the uh, defensive end is Greg Gard. Chance with his team, Davison and Carlson. Turnover number seven on Wisconsin. They turned it over only four times against Indiana. They've done that at a high level all year. They don't turn the basketball over. And Can't defend that. 16 points now for Liddell. I like Tyler Wall in the middle. Let, let him make plays. It was Steven Crow last time. He airmailed it. Tyler Wall a better option. Davis, not sure if that was poked or if that was a directed pass to Wall, but he could not connect. And now here comes Liddell. Ohio State has been phenomenal. How about this pass? E.J. Liddell all smiles, deservedly so. 53-36, another 9-0 Buckeye run. Been setting up Zed Key here the last three minutes. That's a beautiful pass again, giving up a good shot to get a great one. Davis no, Crowell the tip, Jordan Davis the save, and last touch by Ohio State. E.J. Liddell. This is just that step back. He got the mismatch. Steven Crowell not going to be able to guard him. And then getting out in transition. Zed Key with the rim run. Poor transition defense from the Badgers. No one picks up Zed Key. And an easy assist for E.J. Liddell. The officials sort out the substitution. Johnson comes out. Wheeler back in. Oh, wait. And now we're ready. <laughs> Davis against Brown and a foul. On Eugene Brown, the third. And second team's fourth. Davis with 17. And he's fouled again by Brown. He just came back, played 10 minutes against Towson. Brown was out after sustaining a concussion against Xavier, missed four games. And now commits another foul. He's got three fouls. Beg your pardon. Brown now with three. Kobe Neath, the transfer from Wake Forest, pulls up at the elbow. The rebound for Zed Key. That's his seventh rebound to go with ten points. Davison down the paint. Liddell challenges him.
Kyle Young flexing the muscle, honoring his teammate who needed some strength, and boy, did he ever to get it to go and a three-point try upcoming. Wisconsin just never right. Brad Davison falls down, late coming over on E.J. Liddell. And this kind of feels like it's getting away from the Badgers. But credit Ohio State, they've ramped it up on the defensive end of the floor. That They're protecting the rim. They've blocked a ton of shots today, altered others. Now finding some success getting out and running. The third free throw attempt all game for the Buckeyes now two of three as a team. And the 17 point lead, the largest for the Buckeyes today. Liddell with 19 and 6. Chris Holman is throwing everything out here. A little 2 2 1 press, now back to 2 3. We see man to man, and finally, that, that's well executed against the zone. Get it to Tyler Wall, the good seal right there by Chris Vogt. That was well done. Well, the Buckeyes still shooting over 50% from the field at 52% as a team. It was key against Vogt. Both sides. Now the trap comes, but there's that cylinder rule again. You start encroaching on space, it's going to be called a foul. And this is on Vogt. His second and the fourth team foul. I mentioned earlier with Zed Key that he had yet to take a three point try, three point shot in his career. But Chris Holtman told us yesterday that in the offseason, that is something that the coaching staff wants Key to work on to be a part of his game, almost comparably to Kyle Young. His Kyle Young career plan. has continued. Not to say that you know, Zed Key is going to become. You know, Justin Arms, but still to incorporate that a bit more into his arsenal. Just to add that dimension to his game. I mean, as a big, if you could shoot the ball, the, the pick and pop, you're not going to switch ball screens with Zed Key because he'll punish you down low. If he can make threes in his career, that would, he would be one tough guard. Now low, vote off the feet from Davis. Another easy score inside. Just a simple pick and roll, Johnny Davis. Reading the defense, Chris Vogt rolling to the rim, and Davis set the table. Easy for Chris Vogt. You just got to catch it, go up, score it. Vogt at seven points all season long before his nine point performance against Indiana. Seven so far today. The Badgers get a stop. Pass a little too far from Russell. Last touch by the Buckeyes, and it's Wisconsin basketball. And there is Young. His fiance, fiance Lexi, is expecting their first child any moment now. Due at the end of December. This crossover from Davis. Davison. Bounce up top to Wall for three. With the rebound and fouled by Vogt. And that's Vogt's third. Give a lot of credit to Jamari Wheeler right there. He battled Brad Davis on the post. Davison was trying to back him down. Jamari Wheeler just not giving ground. That's a scouting report deal from Ohio State. They know they are fully aware that Tyler Wall is 0 for the season from three. Oh, 2 today. Oh, uh, 12 for the season. Young, he can hit that shot. And Brown went up high for the rebound, but commits the foul. As Davison had position, Brown the foul. Badgers ball. Well, out of that point, you, you got to, right? So he had an engagement between Wisconsin, Badger, and Davison. And a Hoosier. As Davis is at the line shooting a one and one. And he knocks it down. Now, the reason why Brad was asked, because Brad, Wisconsin, his fiance, Tyra Buss, Indiana, the Hoosiers all-time leading scorer. And as they are engaged, you have a Wisconsin-Indiana pairing, and Andrew and Delaney also a Wisconsin-Indiana pairing. And Tyra Buss is now an assistant coach at Wisconsin-Milwaukee. So a cool gesture on Brad's part to help out. Knocks down two free throws. We probe is Robbie Hummel, 7.40 to go in Columbus. 
6-0 Badger run. Wheeler against Bolt, cut off. Now Liddell, no panic with this guy. And six, he knocks it down. Liddell, 21 points. He is the total, total package. Robin. Tyler Wall just brought his arm down to try to guard him off the bounds. Liddell saw it, just raised up over the top and knocked down a tough 16-footer. Davis challenged by Johnson. Young the rebound, a whistle and a foul. Now, later tonight, the 17th ranked Buckeyes hit the ice here at Value City Arena to take on number three Michigan. The puck drops tonight, 8 Eastern on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Michigan won 5 2 last night. Congrats to Mel Pearson, Wolverines head coach, on his 200th career victory here last night. 5 2, and they'll meet again tonight. So Michigan's in town. That's why throughout Columbus on campus, all the M's remain marked with the red tape. As Wall knocks it free, it'll stay with the Buckeyes and 13 to shoot. Corey, I think Wisconsin is a very good defensive team, and certainly there's still time left, but they, they've gone up against a, a very good offensive team in Ohio State, but, but I do worry about the Wisconsin offense. Outside of Johnny Davis right now, just not sure anybody else can score. Davis and Davison have combined for 30 of the Badgers 42, and you think that that might be an issue, not just today. No, it's going to be all year. Davis got through three defenders and somehow got it to go. He's just weaving through there like they're, they're traffic cones, not defender. That, that was an incredible drive. Johnny Davis showing the burst and, and just slithering right through there. And now easy steal from Hepburn against Wheeler. Freshman against the senior, but missed. And Wheeler nearly carried. Here's Arns. Johnson begging for the ball, and now Davis gets back defensively. Hepburn looked like he had a flat tire there. He went to jump and just didn't go anywhere. Dell squares up Wall and a foul committed by Wall. That's his third. You're right, Corey. One, two, three Ohio State defenders. Doesn't matter. The Euro step right there. Johnny Davis doing his part. 19 points, 9 of 18 from the field. But outside of a good start for Brad Davison, it's been a struggle for the rest of the Badgers on the offensive end of the floor. One and one for Liddell. Well, tomorrow, J.C. Sheldon and the Buckeyes battle Mackenzie Holmes and the Hoosiers in an early conference showdown women's basketball presented by Disney Parks tomorrow at 7 Eastern on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Now, picking apart E.J. Liddell's game, the only negative that Chris Holtman could point to was turnover prone. I mean, entering the game today, Liddell had a team-high 30 turnovers this season. He said many of them are because he's not securing the basketball. Oh, really long, Tyler Wall. With the turnovers, you know that E.J. Liddell is going to have some. The ball's in his hands all the time. And I think if Chris Holtman sees him commit a couple charges, he's being aggressive. That's not an issue. It's the ones where he's loose with the ball, tightening up your handle, some of the decision-making. But on top of that, you're going to have to live with some because he is such a, a fantastic playmaker. So one and one here for Zed Key. 62% free throw shooter. Foul was on Johnny Davis, his third. And misses the front end. Davison with the rebound. Vital possessions now for the Badgers. Davison against two. Blocked by Liddell. Trying to get it back. Loose on the floor. And tied up with Arns. And a foul is going to be called on Brad Davison. This will be a foul on Davison. They've got Ohio State for four blocks, but it, it feels like it's more like ten. And they've done a great job of contesting shots at the rim, and there's the foul. That's the right call. Good call by Donnie Epley. Davison, he'll head out with three fouls. So here's Arns, still a one and one. Arns now 11 out of 16 at the foul line this season. Well, Liddell as he comes out, he's played great today. Speaking of his defense, look at the improvement 
already 31 blocks in 10 games compared to where he was the prior two seasons. He came into this season, too, looking lean and mean. I mean, he's certainly got in great shape. He's having the best season of his career. Doing it on both ends of the floor. Davis will drive on Johnson with the left hand. And Davis now with 21. So both guys came in scoring about 20 per game. And both have matched that today. Davis with 21, Liddell 23. Johnson had the loose ball, picked it up. And now Wheeler thought about slowing it down. Instead, it's Key with the right hand, and he's fouled. Boy, how about Jamari Wheeler telling everybody, let's slow it down, let's slow it down. <laughs> Seeing Zed Key at the last minute and firing a pass right into the paint. Ohio State's had a couple possessions like this where they ended up being really fortunate. There's the let's slow it down, and now, nope, never mind. <laughs> we got Zed Key down low. Well, two shots the rest of the way, even though Key was fouled in the act of shooting. Ten team fouls now on Wisconsin. And as Wheeler taps the chest of Key. Buckeyes now 7 out of 10 at the line as a team today as Chris Holman applauds the effort from his Buckeyes leading 63-46 under 5 to play. Davis up top for 3, too strong and it's all Buckeye with the rebound. That's Wheeler feeding Johnson oh, from behind. Nice. Davis saved by Jordan Davis. So Johnny with the block, Jordan with the save. Boy, that's first why both those guys, Johnny to get back in after his gamble, and Jordan Davis to keep that ball alive. Yeah, Hepburn left that short. It was that big arm of Zed Key that certainly was in his vision. I'd love to know what Wisconsin is shooting on shots from five feet in. It just seems like whenever they've had the ball around the rim, they have not been able to convert. 32%. For the game 25 this half as Arns with the miss. Davis lead pass into traffic. Carlson caught it and he's fouled. Strong hands there from Woodbury, Minnesota. That you can spread the floor as a jump shooter. It is such an important part of the NBA these days. EJ Liddell got that feedback, came back, worked on his jumper, has been defending more guys out on the perimeter, which he'll have to do at the next level, but. I, I have no doubt that he is going to play in the NBA and do it for a, a very long time. He can play at the three, he can play at the four. He, he is just one talented dude. As Carlson made the first, missed the second. 63 47. Lost he got it back. Number 10 for Young in the drive against Crowell. Arns helps him out. He had a shot to take there and did not very often. This is Russell to miss. Wait, Justin Arns must have not caught that right because he, he doesn't fire blanks like that normally. Usually he's open, he's letting it fly. And you mentioned Liddell's a pro. What about number one, Johnny Davis? At the 24. I think Johnny Davis could end up being a lottery pick. Right now, he's in, honestly, get buckets more out here. He's he's the only guy that's been able to do it with any consistency today, though. Wisconsin's offense has bogged down in the second half outside of Johnny Davis. And trying to rip that one free from Wheeler. Seven to shoot. Wheeler, open, Russell for three. And Liddell ripped that rebound away from Davis. Over Carlson. Two more for EJ Liddell. 25 points for the junior. Liddell saying, Ben Carlson, not big enough to guard me. He gave him that shoulder, got Carlson off balance, and went right up with his right hand. Davis with a double team. That pass tipped by Liddell. And now stay ball. Yeah, Johnny Davis, you know, entering the years, you mapped out the best in the Big Ten. Was he even on your radar? I, I thought he'd make a jump, much like I thought about Keegan Murray at Iowa. Both those guys, six man on their team last year on good teams. And one for Young as Liddell had a 
chance to take it himself, but he found a teammate, Young, slashing, scoring, and he'll be at the line for a three-point try. That's just really good press break. But we'll get back to Johnny Davis in a second. Nice pass by E.J. Liddell, set the table. Textbook with a two-on-one. But I, to, to envision that Johnny Davis would become this, I, I'm not sure that you could have done that unless you saw him in practice at the U19. It seems like everybody that went to the U19 World Cup on the U.S. team has just come out. And that, that's how it should be. You're playing against great competition, but, boy, he, he really grew from that. Yeah, Ohio State had a couple of players in that camp early on. Michi Johnson, Zed Key, they also tried out to not make the team. You think about who did. Chet Holmgren at Gonzaga, Jay Nivey at Purdue, Kennedy Chandler at Tennessee. You're, you're talking about the best freshman and sophomores in, in college basketball. Zadell on the baseline. He is so good at just facing you up. And if you're a bigger defender, you're worried about the drive and just letting it go. You saw the smile. He's had that smile all day long. Carlson for three, way off. And the Buckeyes, who at one point trailed by eight in the first half, with an outstanding showing today. And Ohio State will be 2-0 to start league play with a home win over the Wisconsin Badgers. One minute, one minute remaining. <laughs> regular Jordan Davis gone. Get your hand off him. Try again. Get your hand off him. Now he'll drive and score. And the stare. Hesitation move by Jamari Wheeler. He just froze Jordan Davis. Hepburn for three. And Liddell against two Wisconsin Badgers has the rebound and a foul on Wisconsin. Ohio State, you're just trying to kill clock, but that hesitation left Jordan Davis in the dust. Mario Wheeler getting downhill and, and putting the finishing touch on a top 25 win here in Columbus. And Wheeler, he enjoyed his return to State College earlier in the week. He played well in that win against Penn State. As Chris Holman will beat Wisconsin for the third time in his career. And Liddell cannot hit on the front end. Coming up, the doubleheader continues as Gabe Brown... Leads number 19, Michigan State, against Penn State. That's coming up next on the Big Ten Network. Subs for the Buckeyes. As Young is done, Kyle Young today with a clear high 14 rebounds. Dell with 28, that ties his career high. Now Davis up and under, athletic, and a foul. That's Jordan Davis, who's five minutes younger than his twin brother, Johnny. Jordan averages about five minutes per game, and a bit more today. As the Dell comes out to a nice hand. Shot clock, game clock, nearly identical. Impressive showing today for the Buckeyes, who shoot 51% from the field. Richie Johnson Jr. with the right hand, no, neat the rebound, final seven. And Hepburn lets it fly, that's good for three. Eugene Brown, the inbounds, and Key will hold that ball tight. 73-55, the Buckeyes win, improve the 2-0 in league play as the Badgers are 1-1. One one. E.J. Liddell.